All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. Today, I want to talk about table calculations, right? Um, you know, it's one of those options that we use and, you know, you fumble around with and, you know, you pick some options and hopefully you get the, uh, the right answer. So hopefully I can demystify uh, some of those options for you. We're just going to do some very basic, uh, a very basic table calculation here. So let's look at my data. I've got a, a year uh, of an order date, 2017 and 2018. There's an internal division, and I have sales prices. Um, these are uh, revenues uh, that occurred on particular dates. Uh, for these divisions within this year, right? It's just aggregated up, right? It's a sum of sales price. So what if I wanted to know what my difference between uh, 2018 uh, energy and 2017 energy is, so on and so forth for each of the internal divisions? How would I do something like that? So we would create a table calculation. So I'm just going to hold down Control and make a copy here, right? You see the sales price duplicates, but I want to make a quick table calculation and I want to make a difference here. So let's see what we get here. So you might look at this and say, all right, what is going on here? It is taking the difference in sales price, but it's doing it at, um, at this internal division level. Right, so 1.1 million minus 19.4 million gives us that 18.2 million that we're seeing here. But we don't want the difference calculated at this level. We want it calculated at a yearly level. So let's first of all let's take a look and see what this calculation is doing. All it's doing is saying um, ZN is saying, hey, if you see a null, treat it as a zero. So let's ignore ZN for now. We're taking the sum of sales price subtracting out the sum of sales price in a previous position right this minus one is an offset to the uh, to the lookup function right we have the lookup function and then you provided an offset minus one so what does this minus one affect right you have to tell it the partition um, to to offset from right I want to offset by a year, not necessarily an internal division. So how would we change that? So we're going to go in here and we're going to select edit table calculation. And so let's see what pops up here. So one table calculations, they're dependent upon the structure of your results, right? And they're often compared to other rows or values. And so there are two important concepts in understanding table calculations. There's partitioning and addressing, right? So what does that mean? So dimensions that define how to group my calculation, right, are called partitioning fields. The table calculation is performed separately within each partition. So think of a partition uh, as a way to set a break, uh, basically a way to restart a calculation based upon a particular dimension. And so in order, in this table calculation box, I set my partition um, here at this at the level. So we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. And so the next uh, concept that you need to understand with respect to table calculations is addressing. So addressing is the direction in which the calculation moves, right? So when you add a table calculation using compute using, Tableau will, will try and make a best guess on which dimensions are used for addressing and which are used for partitioning automatically. But when we select specific dimensions, then we get the control back, right? We get to determine which addresses are for, or which dimensions are for addressing and which are for partitioning. All right, so, right, you know, this, this all sounds great in theory, but how does it apply to, uh, to our view here? So we're going to select specific dimensions that allows us to select our addressing. Again, the address is the direction in which the calculation moves. So I want this to move from year of order date to internal division. So that aligns with what I have here in the view. I've got a year of order date column, and I've got an internal division. So 
We're going to put that year of order date first. Then we're going to put the internal division. And so at the level, right, uh, sets the partition. Right now we're at the deepest level. The deepest level is, if we look at this, it's our year and internal division. So we could say internal division is our deepest level. If I change it to internal division, nothing happens. But watch what happens when I change it to year. Right? I get these null values now. Now I get that difference between 11.5 for energy here. We're looking back one, right? We're offsetting one year because we had this in our table calc, right? Our lookup is offsetting minus one. Minus one what? Minus one year, right? So we're offsetting one year to get the sales price, and we're doing the calculation. 11.5 minus 19.4 gives us that 7.9, right? Hopefully that makes sense. This is your addressing and this is uh, your partition. So now watch what happens if I switch the addressing here, if I switch the internal division uh, with the year of order date. Now I start getting kind of gibberish results here, right? You may not understand what's going on here, right? This 1.1 minus 19.4, that doesn't give us 10.3, right? Where are we getting this 10.3 from? Well, like I said earlier, we always want to make sure that um, our order here within addressing is the same as the order here. So it just helps it e make it easier to understand. So let's switch internal with year here, and we'll have a better understanding of what's going on. So now I've got the same order here as I have here, and I can look and I can see here. Okay, so again, we told the addressing. We want internal division and year, which we have here. We have internal division first then we have year and we want at the year level you know we want that offset to apply at the year level so our year level is every row right so now it's doing the calculation um, we are 11.5 minus 19.4 gives us that negative 7.9 right that weird 10.3 value that we saw before if you look at it now in this context you can see that uh, 1.1 minus 11.5 gives us that 10.3 just because we had a switch of, um, you know, we changed our addressing to internal division first and then year. So when you switch it back, I'm going to switch that back, and then we're going to switch this back. Everyone's happy. We get back to where we were, right? So let's say we wanted to filter our results, right? Let's take a look and see where table calculation filters um, are applied within this this order of operations or uh, uh, priority within within Tableau, right? So you can see that you have all these filters, uh, data extract, or sorry, extract filters, data source filters, uh, all these different filters are applied first, right? Our dimension filters are applied, right? That's typically what we use when we drag a dimension to the filter shelf. Um, then our table calculations, right, are applied last. Right? So when a dimension is placed on the filter shelf, Tableau Desktop filters out the underlying data as well as the data in the view. Right? Filters based on table calculations do not filter out underlying data. The data is hidden from the view. Okay? Table calculation filters are applied last in this order of operations. So what that means is you know, we're going to preserve our underlying data in the data set. Our table calculation is dependent upon underlying data in the data set in order for it to calculate uh, correctly, right? So let's go back and take a look. So now, wh what does that mean? If I had to filter by order date, right? If I simply dragged order date in here, I'm going to drag order date to filters. Now remember, this is a dimension filter now, right? What, what's going to happen is, if I say get rid of 2017, What's happened is I lost my table calculation. Why? Because I got rid of the underlying data, right? I got rid of the underlying data so it's not in the view. So my look back, there's no 2017 for my calculation to look back to, right? And give us a value. What I need, I need a way to preserve the underlying data, but just remove it from the, from the uh, view. I want to preserve 2017, just get it out of the view so, I, so my table calculation can work, right? So how do we do that? So I need a way to turn my dimension into a table calculation. And so I have a field that I created. I called it order date uh, table calculation filter. That's what the TCF is. 
So if I go in here and edit, let's take a look at it, right? Basically, from my order date, I, I want the minimum order date, and I want to look up the minimum order date in the zero offset. Basically, I'm just returning the minimum order date, right? This is a hacky way. You know, you can hack your way to do anything in Tableau, right? It's just a hacky way to turn my order date into a table calculation so I can filter on it at the table calculation level, not at the, uh, at the dimension level. All right, so if I if I go here and if I take take that off, I take order date TCF and apply it here, right? And I say one one, right? One one twenty eighteen. There we go. Twelve thirty one. Okay. So if I say okay, oh, it's gonna say oh, you know, we got a problem. That's all right. We're just going to edit our table calculation so it understands now. So we want a specific dimension, right? And again, we're year and then internal division. If you look at our ordering here, so we're gonna set our addressing to year, then internal division. And we want at that year of order date. And so when I do that, now when I go back in, oh, now I'm gonna have to do this all over. That's fine, show the filter. Well, no, that's fine. So what it's showing is, it's showing the minimum date that I have an order for each internal division, right? So if I uncheck 1-1-2017, that's gonna get rid of transportation because that is the minimum date for transportation. Oops, sorry, that's gonna get rid of technology. That's the minimum date for technology that I had in order. I get rid of 128 and 25 2017 Now I'm left with my 2018 values. I'm gonna hide that card, right? So that is just kind of a, a hacky way to get rid of my 2017 values. I had to turn my dimension, my order date dimension, into a table calculation in order for Tableau to uh, remove um, the underlying data only from the view, not, from, not remove the underlying data uh, completely from scope, but just get it out of the view. So now I can show that difference in sales price and retain 2018. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you found this tip useful. I'm gonna make another video here using the concepts of what we learned here to do a, a sample uh, you know, day last year um, calculation so we can look at the sales price for the same day last year. So we're gonna use these foundational concepts here. Look for that in another video that I put out here soon. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching everyone.